Hello and welcome once again to the Waters and Stanton uh, video channel. My name is Peter Waters, G3OJV. The previous video I did, I was speaking about receiver audio and also gave you a story about the um, QSL car that I picked up. Well, it attracted a lot of views. Um, there, is a, there is a sequel to that, which I will um, mention uh, in a later video. But it did remind me that um, I got a product here, which um, I should have um, done a review on. Now, I'm locked down here at the moment. The Portsmouth send me up various products that they suggest that I should um, talk about in a video. And one of them is this uh, a Heil PRAS, a parametric, parametric receiver amplifier system. Um, and the reason I suddenly remember this was because of the video I did previously on audio. Now, of course, this is totally different because we're going to talk about a product um, rather than something you can make yourself. <clears throat> Just a little bit about it. The Harl PRAS has been around for about a year now, and it comprises that plus a, uh, a speaker. Uh, it's built in a nice metal cabinet. It reminds me very much of uh, musical uh, music um, uh, hardware that um, from time to time I, uh, I look at or have purchased. Um, and uh, well, it, uh, it just looks it looks the business, but of course the looking is different from performing. So I thought what we'd do is we'd just take a look at it and see how well it works. I think receiver, the receiver side of um, ham radio um, sometimes gets neglected. We tend to um, just sort of switch the radio on and, uh, and use it. Um, some of the transceivers now have got... Uh, equalizers on the receive side as well which is which is quite good because it means to say you can actually do something with the audio a lot of transceivers haven't got that feature which is a shame uh, some people buy external speakers and some of those external speakers have got filters on them and so forth Ellicraft actually do an excellent external speaker which is acoustically designed and when you if you look inside it it's actually full of wadding and baffles and so forth it's quite a heavy unit, so that one has given some has had some thought put to it. But so often the external speaker um, is simply a speaker in a box, but it's forward facing, which is, <laughs> uh, in my books, is a, is a, is a good feature to have. So what I'm going to do is going to have a look at this um, Hall PRAS, plug it into my little uh, uh, radio station uh, upstairs, and um, well, just run through it point out the features to you and uh, hopefully give you some sort of demonstration, although the band conditions are not wonderful at the moment. But let's take a look at it anyway. The Heil PRAS comes in a very nicely presented package, very nicely built module there with the distinctive VU meter on the left hand side and well labelled controls. You get a separate powered speaker provided in the kit, the necessary interconnecting cables both for DC and for signals are provided with clear instructions and any necessary adapters to go into the headphone socket are also included in the package. Let's now take a look at the front panel of the PRAS and see what uh, the various controls do. Now here we've got a meter that's indicating the amount of audio level um, going through the system. This is the input level and if I turn this control up you'll see that light flash. That means to say we're overloading the input. So we take that control back until uh, there's no flashing. That means to say there's no distortion. Right. On the other side, we've got the output level control. And the output level control simply is the amount of audio that is fed into the speaker. And as I turn it up, you'll hear signals coming through. So that's basically a volume control uh, feeding audio from the PRAS into the uh, speaker system. Let's come to the heart of it now. Here we have the high frequency um, control. It's centered on 6 kilohertz and you get around about 15 dB of boost or reduction. So if we turn that fully clockwise, we're boosting 6 kilohertz 
12 o'clock it's flat and if we turn it fully anti-clockwise we've reduced the 6 kilohertz frequency. Now if we go to the other end we've got the low frequencies centered on 160 hertz, 160 hertz base frequencies and likewise if we turn that fully up we are boosting the base frequencies. If we turn it to 12 o'clock it's flat and if we turn it fully anti-clockwise we're reducing the ba base frequencies in other words reducing the 160 hertz level. Um, Heil don't actually tell you the bandwidth of the control but basically it's fairly broad. Now we come to the real centerpiece of the PRAS the thing that really makes it uh, makes it shine and that is these two controls here. These two controls um, actually manipulate the mid frequencies uh, going from around about 600 hertz um, to 4 kilohertz. That is the frequency range that these controls cover. This is the tuning control and this basically sets the mid range frequency that you're going to manipulate. So if we set it, set it 2.6 kilohertz, which Heil <laughs> described as the sweet spot, um, I guess that's um, uh, designed to uh, improve uh, sideband. We set it to 2.6 kilohertz, and then we ro rotate this control. When that control is fully clockwise, we've, we've boosted the uh, 2.6 kilohertz by about 15 dB. In that situation, it's flat, so there's no change. If we turn it the opposite direction, we're actually reducing the 2.6 kilohertz um, uh, output by approximately 15 dB. Now you can move this tuning control within the passband, the audio passband. So in other words, with that control and this control, you can actually select a part of the passband that you can boost or reduce by adjusting this control. You've effectively got and an infinite amount of settings um, and each and the, the setting that you want will be um, dictated by how you hear or how you want to hear the signal so you can actually manipulate the audio passband quite dramatically and then on the end here we've got a couple of controls for headphones and uh, for recording so that's basically the center center controls of the PRAS Now here we've got a um, station on 20 metres. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the uh, audio up a bit so you can hear it. And then I'm going to increase, when he talks, increase the bass and reduce the bass. That was the bass increased. Sugar, sugar, thank you. Five by five, fifty-five. Now you probably heard as I increased the bass, so it increased the body of the signal. Now we'll have a go at the um, mid-range. I'm going to put some gain on the mid-range, and then I'm going to move this through. Good afternoon. You're five and nine. Now there, I was tuning the um, center frequency, not touching the gain. Well, the gain is going down. I'm actually this bit of, I'm moving to the higher frequencies now, and you'll see there's a bit of boost. And then I can take the uh, the high frequencies down by using this tuning control. You can hear us. I tune this across the band. Roger, Roger, Sergey. Thank you. The name is Sergey. I like Sierra Chrome. You go. So you can see, basically, there's a lot of control of the signal. And finally, when it comes back, thank you. Take care. Bye bye. That's increasing the high frequencies. When it comes back again, and there you go. And you can really go high on the high frequencies. It's always difficult to actually convey 
um, audio responses um, by recording because uh, you're going from the speaker into a microphone um, into the recording system here um, and the, the band is not very stable so we've got some QSB but basically there is quite a marked difference and you can actually sit here and uh, tailor the audio to suit um, what uh, is, um, is uh, to suit uh, your own personal preferences and of course if you've got um, a hearing problem it does mean that you can actually boost the frequencies that <laughs> so you're you're missing so uh, it's quite a um, quite a flexible instrument to uh, to use and uh, the more I use it the more I get used to what I can do with the uh, with the controls and finally to give you a, a visual impression of how it works I've set up a passband on an equalizer in Logic uh, which is a music software and you can see how a typical setting might be that you've rolled off the bass on the left you've rolled off the high frequency on the right and you're given a boost to the center frequency bearing in mind that that center frequency can be moved about to suit your own preference that's the Heil PRAS, the Parametric Receiving Amplifier System. Uh, it works. Uh, it works well. Uh, what do I think of it? Well, I think um, uh, as an audio system, it certainly adds quite a bit to the station. It's not primarily intended to grab signals out of the noise and enable you to copy them. In other words, it's not, not a noise reduction system. Uh, that really is taken care of by uh, DSP, which is probably built into your transceiver anyway. It's more a question of bringing the audio forward. You know, if you, if you amplify the mid-range frequencies, you tend to make the voice come forward. And I think that's uh, one of the features of it. It can bring that voice forward uh, it'll it'll make that voice crisper, uh, more prominent. So in in some respects, yes, it will improve the copy, but it also adds, if this is the right word, fidelity. I'm not sure that fidelity and SSB go hand in hand, but it does add fidelity to the, to the signal. And most certainly, if you have a hearing problem, uh, where as we've discussed before that you tend to lose the high frequencies as you get older. If you've got a hearing deficiency, very often it is the high frequencies that are missing and you may not realize that until you actually put them back in. Certainly the uh, high amplifier will put those frequencies back in. I'd like to put them back in, the, put them back into the place which is most suitable to you. And of course you have the forward facing speaker. So it's a, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice module. It was a nice add-on module, and uh, I think a lot of uh, um, ham operators will appreciate it. Some will stick to a pair of headphones and say, well, all I'm interested in is just copy, and I don't really care what it sounds like. But if you if you take a bit of an interest in the quality of the sound coming out of the the speaker of your transceiver, and it, if that pleases you, and if, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a nice add-on unit that a lot of people will, will find useful and uh, it'll enhance their station. So I've done the best, I suppose, to, to review this. Um, certainly no, uh, no technical problems at all. And uh, well, I think, um, uh, you know, uh, Full Marks to Heil, they've produced a, a nice add-on audio system that will certainly make signals sound a lot better to a lot of people. There we are. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been informative. As usual, um, please subscribe to this channel. We try to give you a, a complete sort of across the board interest at the moment on, on ham radio things. And sometimes, sometimes it's newsy, sometimes it's technical, uh, and sometimes it's a little bit of humor, I suppose. Anyway, thanks for watching. Until the next time, take care, keep safe.